Hello and warm greetings to all our servicemen and women. As this year draws to a close, I want to thank all those who serve and who have served under the NATO flag for the sacrifices you and your families make every day for our freedom and our security. Meeting our men and women in uniform is one of the greatest privileges of my role. And I was delighted to see many of you again in person this year. In our peacekeeping mission in Kosovo, on board the HMS Queen Elizabeth during our steadfast defender exercise, and most recently, in our multinational battle group at Camp Adashi in Latvia. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our veterans, especially those who served in Afghanistan. For over 20 years, there have been no terrorist attack on our countries organized from Afghanistan. We owe this to you. And I pay tribute to all those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. As we look to the new year and our summit in Madrid, we are adapting our alliance to face a more dangerous and competitive world. We are stepping up to address any threats and any challenges on land, at sea, in the air, in space and in cyberspace. This starts with strong and capable armed forces. It starts with you. You represent the spirit and the strength of our alliance. All for one and one for all. So I wish you and your families all the best for the holidays. And thank you for everything you do to keep NATO strong and to keep us all safe.